Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a butterfly valve assembly in the part design workbench in KTRV5. So this uh, was actually requested by one of my subscribers and the same have uh, the same subscriber have sent me this uh, uh, part drawing files and they requested me to upload the tutorial for it. So this particular part, the designing of this particular part is pretty easy. So I'm going to uh, give you uh, an idea uh, of the design process. So let me just open up the part design workbench alright and uh, we're going to design the complete thing in the part design workbench because it's not uh, much complicated and uh, it's a very easy uh, particular part alright so let's just analyze when we get a particular uh, part drawing first what we, what we need to do is uh, to recognize the different views and if an isometric view is given just uh, refer that to the isometric view and just uh, find out where exactly what is being uh, given so in this particular case we have uh, the three we have this particular cylindrical portion which we can see over here and it's been uh, you know it's it's like uh, it's been padded uh, to this particular height so we can get that particular height from this 225 and uh, you can see this portion which is being uh, given as a pattern and uh, it's it's there on the top as well as the bottom so you don't have to uh, you don't need to be uh, a very uh, very big expert to uh, you know read the complete 3d drawing at uh, one particular shot of the view so what what you can do is you can do it one by one or you can uh, you know you can do it step by step so firstly I'm gonna create this particular portion here so this outer circle and this inner circle so you can see the radius of uh, the outer circle I might be doing it a little, little fast so you can actually pause it and you can do it so my main intention is to give an idea of how you can work on this so it is the radius of this particular portion is 140 right and give one more circle and that's of radius diameter 194 alright so we got these two circles so let me just come out and do a padding for this so when we are coming to the padding we can see that the two portions are here and here so let's just go for a mirror extent padding and here we know the complete height is 225 so I'll basically go for uh, 225 divided by 2 and the mirror extent is there so it will do the thing so 112.5 which is over here so let's just uh, click on OK for that and now we'll create this particular three portions here so we'll create one of them and we're gonna do a circular pattern for that so we're gonna create this so let me just zoom it and keep it near so we'll create uh, two concentric circles and uh, a line alright and the uh, radius of this is 50 change it to radius of 50 and the radius of this particular circle is 47 diameter is 47 alright now let's just trim this off and we got a dotted line or dotted circle here so let's just uh, create a similar circle alright now the dimension of that particular circle is you can see 175 it's not the diameter it's the radius 175 alright now let's just project this to 3D and select this and disable the dotted lines and what exactly you can do is you can mirror this particular line here and 
trim the remaining portions. So we've got a small portion here and here. Just come out of the sketch. Oh, I've created the sketch. Uh, I haven't created the sketch over here, so I was supposed to create the sketch here, so that's not a problem. Just select this particular face and uh, select this. Alright, what you can do is just see this is sketch 2, alright? Just come here and project sketch 2. Okay, come out of the sketch. And you can actually hide this. And just select this and uh, pad it, reverse direction, and see how much thickness it is 32. 32. Give a 32 preview. Alright, now <coughs> select this particular portion, go for transformation feature, circular pattern, complete crown, and instance 3 reference element. Okay. Now the same thing has to be done on this particular portion too. So what you can do is again project it to 3D and reverse direction 32 transformation feature circular pattern reference element is this and click OK. Alright now uh, we are halfway with the design and we're going to do the further designing of this particular body of butterfly valve in the uh, next part of the tutorial and thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any doubts clarifications please feel free to comment on my video please feel free to uh, put it just below the respective video and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible thank you